My own, my own country, Jamaica, doesn't give me the respect, and I'm happy they don't because other people outside do, and um, they appreciate me more than my own country. So, you know, I'm happy that I'm be able to crown elsewhere apart from Jamaica. So, I'm just looking to continue doing what I'm doing until I'm happy to step away when it's time. Yeah, blessing sports truckers. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it's a few days away from the Olympics. It's, you know, what promises to be a very exciting Olympics. And, you know, we are all waiting with bated breath to witness some of the performances that are to come. You know, but um, before we go into the Olympic sports truckers, I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, this statement that came out from um, our Olympian, our, our former world champion and second fastest man of all times, um, Johan Blake. You know, so Johan Blake has come out and he has said that Jamaican people, the Jamaican people does not show him the respect that he deserves. You know, he does not get the respect that he deserves from his own country. And he gets, um, well, in, in fact, he, he said that he, he has no problem with that. You know, but because he gets the respect from people in other countries. You know, so I just want to zero in on this statement that Blake came out and, and made um, recently. You know, it is kind of sad, first of all, that we're talking about this um, a few days um, before the Olympics. You know, because we really want to be um, keeping a positive mindset and so on. But, you know, I just felt the need to, to comment on this um, before the, the, the races begin. Now, um... To me, sports truckers, this is a very, a very unfortunate statement, you know, to say the least. You know, I, and I, I, I must say, I, I am not going to be too harsh on, on you and Blake. It is unfortunate from the point of view that, you know, he came out and he, and he made a blanket statement to say that um, he's Jamaican people. You know, so that is very general. You can't generalize like that because... You know, I know that many persons have been critical of Yuan in recent times. You know, the, in, in, he, he has received a lot of, I don't, I don't know if I should, should say backlash on social media. You know, there have been persons telling him that, you know, it's time to hang up his spikes now. It's time to call it quits, you know, because uh, the reality is that Yuan Blake has been finishing at the back of the pack in recent times. You know, he has not been at his best. You know, in, in recent times. At one point, we all know that Ewan Blake was the world champion. You know, finished running on the shoulders of Usain Bolt. You know, rubbing shoulders with, um, you know, as we said, Tyson Gay, Warren Weir, Asafa Powell and the likes. He's the second fastest man in the world to date, as far as I can remember. You know, in the 100 and the 200 meters. But the statement that he made... You know, I don't think it is something that we should take lightly. It is not a statement that um, should be taken very lightly because you're basically um, painting a very negative image of, of Jamaicans on a whole. And, and, and let me hasten to say that I understand where he's coming from because Jamaicans, a lot of Jamaicans on social media, they have been very critical of him. They have been very harsh. They have, they have not held back their comments, you know. But I think from the athlete's perspective, you know, he, he should have been a little bit more responsible because many a times when I see people bashing him on social media, I see a large percentage of, of Jamaicans defending him as well. You know, so for him to come out and say Jamaicans, he does not receive any love and respect from his Jamaican people is a very blanket and general statement and I think it is very unfortunate. What I would say um, is that Ewan Blake, in my opinion, he has never been known to be politically correct. And I don't think that his words were very accurate in terms of describing his, his, his sentiments. You know, because he, he, he actually said, you, you, could, you could sense a little bit of emotions in his um, interview because he actually said that he doesn't care that Jamaicans does not respect him and that is not that is not the truth you know if you did not care about us as Jamaicans not respecting you it wouldn't have reached to the point where you are on social media you are um doing an interview and you are speaking about it you know so naturally 
it is hurtful to know that you you um don't think that you your countrymen and women love and support you and and, and respect you you know I, and i think you know it, it, it's not that we don't love you it's not that they, they don't love you for those who have been critical of him you know i think it is a it is more of a matter of um them wanting to protect you you know them wanting to um look out for your best interest because they want to remember you as um a world champion they want to to remember the good things about you you know and i think in a sense most of who have been critical of you you and are those persons who really you know would wish that you would hang up your spikes now and just you know are earlier you know when you were on top so that persons will remember you as being you know one of the greats you know instead of instead of extending your career and 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 um going through these many losses and so on because the fact is that um I don't think you and Blake will ever come back to his best. You know, he's way past his best. You know, so I, I think most of those who have been critical of him are those persons who actually mean him well. You know, um, on the flip side, though, I think you and kind of deserve to really make a decision as to as to when he decides to call it quits. And and he said that in his interview. You know, we should allow him to continue because at the end of the day. Um, no matter how, how much you may want some you, you you may want good for a person then you know or you may think that you know him quitting now is the best thing for him you know at the end of the day it 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 all boils down to what he wants as an individual you know because Merlin not went on for very long you understand Shelley and Fraser Price even though she is still running very well you know she's 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 still going you know going to our fifth olympics now you know so it's it's kind of a, a tricky situation where i think um some persons have been a little bit too harsh you know on him the criticisms they have been very harsh you know and we should just at this point allow him to to bow out gracefully if there's still time for that you know you know, but a sense that Yuan is a, is a bit bitter based on what he would have seen in social media, and rightly so, because persons would have been um, very critical, as I said before. But track and field, what Yuan needs to understand is that track and field and sports in general, it is a very unforgiving um, um, game. You understand? Track and field is a very unforgiving sport. And, you know, people are only going to want to see you when you are winning. You know, people... There is no time for people to get sentimentally attached and to, to, to still encourage you and follow you. Because at the end of the day, if they think, if the, if the Jamaican people think that there is somebody that is younger and faster and stand a better chance of, you know, representing the country, then naturally they're going to want to support that person. You understand? So they are not going to want to see you continue, you know, and run in slow times that they know you are not, um, that you are better than them. You understand? So it's not a matter of them not respecting you or not wanting to see you run, you, you know, but it's a matter of them just wanting to see success. You know, success is the only thing that satisfies the, the soul of, of, of a track athlete. You understand? So once somebody is not doing well, they're not going to support them. And that is the unfortunate thing and, and about track and field. But that is just how it is. You understand? Because nobody wants to send, nobody wants to support a person that they know is going to lose. You understand? So it, it, it's a tricky situation, um, sports trackers. And I don't, and, and, and as I said before, you know, seeing that Yuan wants to continue, I think we should just, you know, uh, allow him. I think we should just allow him to continue until he feels that it is time for him to hang up his spikes. So that is my take on the whole situation, sports trackers. Please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think. Blessings.